Weekends are meant for relaxing and rejuvenating. But it's easy to forget that when we're swamped with never-ending homework, college applications, and demanding jobs that have us working overtime. Consequently, plans that we originally signed up for might seem like a hassle now. It's perfectly okay to stay in, hit the pause button, and catch your breath. In fact, I'm about to do that myself. So sit back, relax, and come unwind with me. It'll all be okay, I promise. Today is my lazy day. With no plans in sight, I'm starting off with a blank canvas, which means I can paint the day however the way I want it to be. Let's check the weather. Seems like it's cloudy and windy. My favorite sweater weather. I'm going to go downstairs, greet my cat, and brew myself a hot cup of tea. Whether you enjoy something calming and herbal or strongly caffeinated, ya boys got you covered. I'm loaded with the good stuff. Now, on to laundry. Sounds like work, right? But doing laundry after a long week can actually be rewarding. I love burying myself with the scent of fresh, clean clothes. Now that I have something to wear next week, there's one less thing I have to worry about. Here, I'm gonna get the first batch started and then we'll move on to something else. I'm really lucky to live in a quiet area surrounded by woods. Today, I think I'll go for a bike ride. I've got my favorite cardigan on and a scarf to keep my neck warm. Sometimes, nature is the only friend you need. As much as I love spending time with my friends and family, I love going off by myself and having my own solitary adventures. With life these days, it's often quite hard to get some peace and quiet, so when I have the chance, I make the most of it. I've been thinking lately about how much I've let my own anxiety and depression dictate my life. How it stopped me cold from taking certain risks, postponed the time I could have used to work on personal goals, and the way it would keep me up all night. It doesn't have to be that way anymore if I just learn to let go. If you're going through the same motions, I hope you have the guts to do it too. Ah, wasn't that fun? It felt so good to let the crisp, cool air into my lungs. And the way the leaves fell, it looked like small bits of a kaleidoscope rearranging its patterns. That's what I love the most about fall. You can heal and learn to become what you can still be. Just because everything breaks down in this time of the year doesn't mean good things have to come to an end. Sometimes change happens so better things can fall into place. But we have to be open to receive it. I like to think that with every end comes a new beginning. Come inside now, your ears are getting cold, aren't they? Let's go back to the kitchen and cook ourselves a nice dinner. You'll have to excuse me, I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. Let's see what's available in the pantry. Hmm, a can of tomato sauce and some angel hair. Looks like we're having spaghetti. Sometimes dinner is the best when it's prepared simple. I'm just gonna chop up an onion and throw in some spinach. Fall makes me nostalgic for my mom's cooking. In fact, I learned how to make this dish from her. Hmm, some things never get old. Dinner is always better with some company. Now let's end that night with a hot, relaxing bath. There's nothing like lighting your favorite scented candles and sitting with a good book and music. If you live in the city, it can almost be impossible to slow down when everyone's always rushing to get to the next stop. But when you're in a bathtub, you're safe, warm, and away from all the noise. Whatever sense you picked up from riding the train or being at school, you can leave all of that behind you as you soak in these bubbles. Ah, looks like it's time for bed now. My cat knows too. She's been waiting for me. I love the way she snuggles up close to me. Another day has come to an end, but it was everything I needed. Are you feeling better now? Keep these tips in mind the next time you're all wound up. What other relaxing techniques do you use? Unlike the scriptwriter Catherine, I myself really like playing video games to unwind. <laughs> what about you? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone. As you may have noticed, we don't post as often as we'd like anymore. We are low on funding as our expenses are exceeding our revenue. However, we want to keep making more content that help people learn about psychology and mental health. So we want you to be a part of that process. Starting today, we will have a donate button underneath our videos. You've probably seen it in some of your favorite channels already. But if you don't see the button, we've included a link in the video description. Our vision is to keep making psychology more accessible to everyone. We try to keep our videos concise and create open dialogues among the community. As a supporter, you will receive recognition for your support by having a cool Psy icon next to your username when you comment. 
This helps us recognize it's you and engage you more. On top of this, you will also receive a free copy of our Psych2Go ebook and occasional magazines every quarter. Just email in to myself when you've donated, and I will send you the copies at tie at psych2go.net. However, even if you cannot support us financially, we still totally understand. You can help us out by sharing this video. We still love you and will give you a free ebook if you mail in to let us know. There is no fixed term or shady things like that. You can also cancel your support at any time too, so there's absolutely no risk. We promise to use your funding wisely and for creating new videos that can help others. Let's make psychology more accessible for everyone.